what's going on guys so i was fixing to head out the door to the gym and this package was just dropped off um and i'm so excited i decided i'm not gonna wait till after i get back from the gym i want to i want to do a first impressions now because the first one was so good such a fantastic original citrus fragrance and i'm, I'm very sparing with it because it's gone it was a limited edition we're talking about the newest fragrance from my man mega dave this is oh so fresh too it was one night stand stay tuned So real quick, this is the original Oh So Fresh right here. And uh, love that teal color, by the way. And then the bottle is absolutely freaking amazing as far as the gradient color scheme. Blue to green to yellow. I love this stuff. This is one of my favorite citrus fragrances ever made. And it actually performs. It's a super high oil concentration. x straight. But let's check this bad boy out. This is clearly the evening date night fragrance counterpart. Gorgeous red, by the way. And speaking of gorgeous red, look at this bottle. Super deep dark black to deep red gradient. ESF2, also fresh too, one night stand. Yeah, so uh, Dave did send this to me as a gift, obviously, and I'm just, I'm really excited about it. And I really wanted to just do it now. And, oh, by the way, for those of you that don't know that didn't see the first one, heavy metal cap. <laughs> Doesn't click into place, but you do get a pressurized atomizer. Good spray. A little bit of a rose cinnamon kind of thing going here. One good spray, that is plenty. Absolutely plenty. Ooh, it's like fiery hot, for sure. Definitely rose and cinnamon here. A little bit of citrus, but I can't really tell exactly what. This is deep and dark. This is way, way dark. Um, complete opposite. Counterpart to Oh So Fresh, the original, because that is a straight-up citrus fresh fragrance. Clean musk, clean woods, all that. It's just super fresh and clean. I mean, it's Oh So Fresh, you know? There's a lot of cinnamon What it smells like to me, the things I can pick out is rose and cinnamon, obviously jump right out at me. A little bit of citrus, I can't tell what, but it's got a little bit of citrus freshness to it, as well as kind of this, this ginger feel. It's got that crisp, creamy edge. Crisp, yet creamy. It's definitely, I'm going to say there's some ginger here. I'm sure there's musk and all these other things, but there's something inherently earthy. I can't exactly tell what. It doesn't smell like oak moss. It doesn't come across too much like an earthy vetiver. There's something deep and earthy here. Dark and earthy, making it a little bit smoky, actually. All right, so look, I'm going to put the notes on screen for you guys, but let me pull it up. Dave actually sent me the press release. Well, he typed it up for me. Notes, Satsuma Mandarin. So there's orange. There's that citrus. White ginger. Haha. -ha. Coriander and cardamom. So there's some spices. Rose. Fireball cinnamon accord. If that's not one of the most accurate things I've ever seen in a note breakdown, because it's fiery hot. It definitely is. Red hot type of smell. So yeah, that makes sense. Bourbon soaked Maduro tobacco. That might be that dark earthiness I'm getting. Caramel patchouli, 30-year Madagascar vanilla, amber and white musk. Okay, a lot of this makes sense. All the spices, the little bit of citrus, the ginger, the, the cinnamon, and even the tobacco, that all makes sense. I, I It doesn't distinctively, I guess now that I know it's tobacco, it smells more like tobacco, but it was dark, rich, moist, and earthy. A lot of warm spice. It's a very warm and dark fragrance. 
definitely evening appropriate. I can't imagine somebody wearing this during the day unless it's just super cold outside and you want something really spicy to cut through the cold. It's strong, too. So let's read the release here. First impressions are everything, or so they say. To some, la a lasting impression means more, and sometimes it, all it takes is one night. A sweet Satsuma Mandarin and fresh zing of white ginger lead the initial icebreaker to introduce yourself in a strong way. A mix of herbaceous cardamom and spicy fireball cinnamon mixed with a gorgeous caramel literally do the sweet talking to warm them up and make them putty in your hands. Patchouli vanilla with a loud white musk keep the center of attention and makes, your makes sure your date doesn't forget your name now or after breakfast in the morning. Make your night out always feel like a one-night stand. Wow. Interesting press release. This stuff smells really good, though. And uh, I believe at the recording of this, this comes out this weekend. I'm sure it's a limited run of just a few hundred bottles again. Uh, Dave didn't tell me specifically, or, you know, that it's a certain amount of anything. I'm just assuming based on the first go-round. It's a lot of cinnamon here. A lot of cinnamon spice. And that rose hit that I got at the top kind of toned down. It's pretty much all, all spices. A lot of warm, rich, hot spice. The tobacco, like sprinkled on top of the tobacco leaf is kind of how it smells to me. And there's a little bit of creaminess here. And I'm sure that's a heavy dose of patchouli because there's no sandalwood or anything like that. Or... It could be a combination with the vanilla, but the vanilla doesn't make it really sweet. It doesn't smell like a heavy dose of vanilla. If anything, it's more of a darker vanilla. I know it's a Madagascar vanilla, but it, it comes across a bit. There's so much darkness and richness and warmth and spice going on here that I, I can't see unless maybe in the deep, deep dry down, the vanilla becoming a strong note in the forefront. It's getting smoother and richer and creamy. It's very creamy, but not too creamy. It's not super sweet creamy. That's what would be too creamy. For me, anyways. Hmm. I don't know how easy it'll be to get samples. Uh, I'm sure the Do a Sample site will have them once this is released. But uh, it's definitely sample worthy, especially if you like Dave, want to support Dave, or you're just a big fan of Dua and want to, and you're the type that likes to grab their limited releases, um, like the the Moda Elixirs and stuff like that, that they just drop a limited number of bottles. If you grab stuff like that, I'm sure you'll be one of the people grabbing this. If you're a fan of Dave and want to su support Dave, I'm sure you'll be grabbing this. And uh, if you're just looking for a nice original fire hot, fire red hot, fireball cinnamon accord, boy, that's so accurate. Fire Red Hot Spicy Tobacco Fragrance. Turns out I wasn't expecting it to be a tobacco fragrance. It's morphing more into a tobacco fragrance, but a very warm and spicy tobacco fragrance. If you like stuff like that, you might want to check this one out. I'm not sure what the price will be. Just keep your eyes peeled to do his website for this weekend at the recording of this video. Thank you again, Dave, for sending this out. I'm definitely going to get some use out of this. Probably going to wear this to my next dinner date. The wife obviously hasn't smelled it yet. I just sprayed it. But I'm definitely going to get her opinion on my way out the door to the gym. I'm going to leave this on my hand. You never know. You never know. Somebody may end up saying something about it. It's just one spray. So even though it's a strong fragrance, I don't think it'll be too much while I'm at the gym. But look at this oil sheen. If I get it to focus, you'll be able to really be able to see. Come on. Eh, maybe not. But the whole top of my hand, you can kind of see by the knuckles. The whole top of my hand is just oil sheen. I don't know the oil concentration, but it's definitely high. So that's my first impressions on Oso Fresh 2, One Night Stand. Mega Dave's new release with Dua. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of you knew about this? For those of you that did know about it, are you anticipating getting your nose on it? Um, it's definitely a great evening scent for sure. It's just getting creamier and it's maintaining that earthy, rich. It's a very moist tobacco. This stuff really does. Great job, Dua and Dave, for sure. Damn good fragrance. But let me know below if any of you plan on getting your hands on this or getting a sample or doing a split and getting a decan or whatever. 
I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on One Night Stand from Oso oh Fresh and the Dua brand, give a spray now. Hmm. You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm-hmm.